harvest because we just had this one group of hypericum here. We want to really harvest quite a bit of it. So I've cut a quite large amount of the flowering top there, which includes some flower buds, some flowers that open today, and some flowers that are spent. Mm -hmm. If we had, say, a, a big, big meadow where it occurred over and over again, then we could actually go and make our finest preparation by just picking the individual flower that bloomed that day and leaving all of the flower buds. Yes, here we go. I'll put it in your basket, Monica Jean. Mm -hmm. This one? Okay, we'll put it in that basket. But because we just have this one little stand of it, we're going to maximize it by cutting some of the leaves and the stalks as well. I've actually tried making tinctures and oils with just the flowers, cutting just a little bit of the top and actually cutting it quite far down on the stalk and even making it from the part that's left behind after I cut the flowering top. And they're fairly equivalent in their activity. So even though, again, we can make an exquisite product by just using the flowers, I have found, and especially if you live where this doesn't grow abundantly, that cutting well down on the stalk is an absolutely fine thing to do. And I like to cut so that I'm leaving. You see there's some side stalks here with buds and I like to leave those side stalks with buds. I can come back then in another couple of weeks and make another harvest, and this is especially useful if there's a limited amount of plant material. Green blessings.